Harrison again in three, two, one. Faith. What's up, Dioka? Oh, oh, my God, it's been so long. Wait, how did I get here? We'll talk about it later. So today we're going to be talking about uh, the Shakespeare week or, or day. Well, things uh, that are happening in March, basically. Yeah, basically. And then we have uh, BSME dance. We're going to do an interview, and we'll uh, put it in the video later. That should be cool. It's going to be cool. Be uh, and we're going to have fun facts, bad jokes, and all of the usual. So let's get right into yeah, it. Yeah, let's get right into it. Wait, what was it? Hey, jokes are lactose intolerant. My eyes can get sunburned. Okay. Well, uh, thanks, guys. Thanks. You okay. Know. Okay. 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 On to the next thing. To be or not to be? That is the question. And in this case, it is to be. It's book week from the 25th of Feb till the 1st of March. Yes. And uh, we're gonna have a Shakespeare dress up day on the first, so that's gonna be exciting. And what are you dressing up as? Uh, uh, this is tough. Um, <laughs> this Curious George. Obviously, this week is gonna be the, the favorite week for all English teachers, because that means reading a lot. Of it. Yes. And on Friday, 77 students are gonna go watch in Dubai Macbeth. Macbeth. The, the thing we've been like studying about, it's gonna be awesome. Unfortunately, I'm not. Neither am I. Uh -huh. Comment down below if you're going. Yeah. So now we're gonna pass it on to Solar with the interviews with the teachers. Good morning, Mr. Williams. Good morning, Solomon. Today, is it okay I may ask you some questions about William Shakespeare's day? Yeah, of course. We're really looking forward to Shakespeare's day. So are we. Question number one What is your favorite play that William Shakespeare has wrote? Uh, my favourite play of all of them um, is probably Hamlet. Um, I remember studying it at A level and really enjoying the themes and the drama that permeates the whole play. Wow, that's also that sounds lively. And uh, what do you know? What you'll be wearing on William Shakespeare's Day? Um, I'm going out this weekend uh, to make sure that I get a costume for uh, Shakespeare Day and the Shakespeare Festival. Um, but I think I'm going to dress up as. Himself, William Shakespeare. Does anything inspire you for William Shakespeare? One's Close place. What you mean, or play, of course. Plays. Um, lots of things, really. Since I've been teaching Shakespeare um, in year seven, eight, and nine, what has actually inspired me is the students' work because they've taken a real interest in Shakespeare, and the year nines who are performing at the festival. And next week, along with some other performers from uh, other classes, have done absolutely amazing work, um, largely of their own accord, actually, and really engaged with the different texts um, that Shakespeare has written. That would be all. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Thank you. And it's time for... Bad jokes! Knock, knock. Who's there? Butter. Butter who? I better tell you some more jokes. <laughs> what is the difference between tuna, piano, and a glue? What's the difference between tuna, piano, and glue? You can tuna piano, but you can't tuna fish. What about the glue? I knew you'd get stuck on that. That's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> So what can you serve that you can never eat? What? A tennis ball. Oh, I thought you said surf. Yeah, I thought you said surf, not surf. But I won. What did the mushroom say to the other mushroom when they were sleeping? What? Move over, I don't have mushroom. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Laugh. No. You laugh. Look, she's smiling. That counts. Duck down. That's funny. Come on, that's funny. Okay, that's it. Did you know? This is the first time our school is sending the dance crew to BSME. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Let's check in on them. I'm 
from the Media Current of Interview in the BSME Dance Hi, I'm Shwadi. Hi, I'm Diana. So, are you excited for the first time performing as, at BSME as a dance team? For sure. Um, it's the first time we've ever done it, so it's going to be cool to kind of get our school into it and then have people continue on for a long time after, hopefully. Do you think it's going to blow people's minds? Um, we think that our dance is very great. It has people waiting for the um, festival is seen and unseen, and um, we have a great history about it. Right now, how do you feel about it? Excited. How about you? Very excited. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Uh, good luck for the dance. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Peter and I'm going to tell you about the weather this weekend. Friday it will be mostly sunny and very warm and the temperature will be 32 degrees. Saturday there will be sunshine and it also will be very warm with also a 32 degrees. And Sunday it will be cloudy with a shower and the temperature will be 29 degrees. I hope there will be a shower. Thank you. Okay, so the top app of the week is TeamViewer. Now TeamViewer will allow you to remote control your phone, your laptop from your phone and so basically you're gonna need their ID and their password and they're gonna also have to download TeamViewer on their laptop. And the second top app of the week is called Getting Over It and so basically you can control this guy and he's inside a pot and he has like a, he has like a hammer so or a pick and pickaxe i think and every time when you like tap on the screen and like you could just control him and control his hand and like make him go on top of every single obstacle course and if you fall down that's it if you cannot you, it's there's no checkpoints so the third top up of the week is called app even an app even actually if it can you can download free games on app even and like if if there is paid games in the app store you could actually buy you could actually get the game for free on app even and yeah that's the only apps of the week we have for you today